Yeah, good morning. I'm still in Santa Paula, of course. I didn't film uh, for two days because, yeah, we're still in the same location and it's a bit of the same. And yeah, I had I did some shooting, some projects on the van again, but uh, I'll, I'll just show you guys because it was too short to just film that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's a sunny day with some clouds, and uh, this is the last. Uh, sunny day for uh, a bit uh, also here in Santa Paula because uh, tomorrow Monday Tuesday and partially Wednesday is gonna be a rainy day but uh, yeah I'll move on uh, tomorrow to visit some uh, Dutch friends uh, further down uh, the road actually I just where you can see the mountain and to the right there is a lower mountain and uh, at the back of that mountain so I'm gonna move a bit. It's about, uh, yeah, I believe as the crow flies, about 80 kilometers, but on the road it's about 150 an hour and a half uh, to uh, an hour and three quarters. So that's uh, tomorrow, and I'm gonna tell you more about that uh, later. But uh, for now, uh, yeah, we're just gonna enjoy uh, our last day in uh, Santa Paula and the beach, of course, also for Bo, because, uh, yeah. And I'm gonna walk the, the beach now for my uh, final beach cleanup. Probably if it's already pouring down rain tomorrow morning, I won't do that. So I'll just take my trash uh, when we drive along. But uh, yeah, let's see what the day brings. Yeah, get the sign. You're on Santa Paula Sustainable Beaches. Remember. <laughs> They probably need to make that sign a bit bigger or uh, might they even help to uh, make a pamphlet of it and put it under the windscreen wipers of people or whatever. Because, uh, yeah, look what I collected again on the beach. Yeah, 0.5, do not litter. Uh, yeah, that's for people. I showed that before, but look, there's trash cans. You can uh, even... Uh, um, put glass in glass, plastic bottles, paper, everything separate, so yeah, that's not the problem either. Yeah, and every morning I walk almost up to the little chapel and I realized that I'd never been up to the actual chapel and uh, didn't video it uh, either, you know, with not this year and not uh, last year, so we're going to do that for a minute. I forget and I wanted to, to show you guys uh, the little things I did in the last two days so there's a cork uh, behind those uh, uh, there's this list little bins now and uh, yeah I want to put up uh, some uh, some wooden uh, uh, boards I've got uh, later I want to put them in this one goes around the corner here, but I'll show you that later. And this one goes on the side here. So uh, I'm going to show you that later. But another thing is, uh, yeah, that since uh, yesterday I've got a new address. And uh, in this case, that's uh, camper van number 12, Santa Paula. <laughs> yeah, I had those still laying around and I thought might as well stick them on and uh, so yeah well I was busy with the mastic the use of it and put them on so 
I've got a house number now, uh, a van number. <laughs> Look at that, made a little uh, shelf on here from uh, pieces of wood I still had left. The little uh, standing up piece of stuff can't go uh, behind that. It's closed here, it what goes on behind here, so on that side it's closed. But uh, yeah, let's see how I'm gonna use that. I can always put a little strip on the forearm to make sure stuff doesn't go more this way but I'm not sure how to use it so I prefer to keep it open for now so if I want to put something in on that a little bit uh, yeah wider could even uh, like put this on for uh, use it um, to put my keys at night or whatever could do that now I don't want to do it if I knock it off it's behind uh, no I'm not going to do it that way so yeah um so yeah let's see how i'm gonna use that i'm not sure but i had the wood laying around uh, in the van it was just on staying laying on the fridge so just use it and then another piece i had let me put on uh, down here so now this keeps the it's not glued to the cover but that's the cover that's over the uh, house battery i can take that off but on this side it's locked in from uh, on the back but on this side it could still move a little bit so when I had like bumpy rides I had to make sure this stayed in the right um, place so now it uh, yeah, won't be able to get out and I can still when I lift the fridge off I can still take it out and uh, so that's no problem and I can use this now to I'll put a screw in later to uh, yeah put my little broom up uh, and it, so that's not uh, on the floor anymore. Yeah, so not a project. And of course, on that last day uh, on this beautiful location for me, uh, should include a bike ride to uh, Santa Paula. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do a bike ride to Santa Paula.